must go and listen to Simon and Eva. He's doing a very fantastic job. Very great job that Simon and Eva is doing. Very, very, absolutely fantastic job that he's doing. You must listen to him and share his videos accordingly. Very, very important. He is bringing a new dimension to this very awareness that we are making. And you must listen to him. Very, very important. God is going to use me to end Nigeria. This info Nigeria that is committing crimes that are known for crimes and terrorism. This evil Nigeria that is supposed to supporting terrorism. And all you people do is to support Nigeria because you are getting paid for the job and the evil journalism you do. You are once again welcome back to Imoko B TV. This is the very TV of the moment. Now, first of all, from Mazinam the Kano's order. Follow Simon Eba. Mazinam the Kano endorsed him. He says you should follow Simon Ekba because he's doing a great job. In fact, he brought in a new dimension towards the actualization of Biafra. And now, Simon Ekba, before now, Simon Ekba said something about journalism in Nigeria. He said something about journalism. That these people are collecting money. The media people, they are collecting money, giving false information. You see something happens. Instead of them to give um, account of what happened as it is, they will try to twist the truth, bend the truth, eh, in order to favor the government. What are they doing? What does that imply in such a place as Nigeria? You, you've, been see, you've been hearing about the killings here and there. In fact, it is now our national anthem. Currently, when when people die, when people are killed, is like is like a usual event. It's not like tradition, killing people. I mean, human beings. It's not like tradition. Yesterday being the twenty fifth day of December, twenty twenty three. Why people were celebrating the Christmas uh, festival? Some persons in Plateau State were battling with their lives, all because of terrorism, and today. Instead of, inst instead of the media to give accurate report of what happened, what did they do? They started twisting the, 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 the whole story. They started twisting it, looking for how to paint it so that it can, it can be in the favor of the government. I don't blame them anyways. I don't blame them because if they understand what the press stands for in this country, if they know that the press is more like the hope of the people, the press is more like a watchdog, if they know that, they will take their job seriously. They told us that in journalism, it, there is objectivity. You don't tell me your own opinion. You, you, you give report of how it is. You, you're not going to tell me, uh, I think, I, I don't really know the exact number of what happened, of, of the casualties. I think it's just like three about three percent. No, you don't give such report in journalism. You, it is accuracy. You must be accurate, so that when when an eyewitness comes out to say, "Look at what happened," look at it will correspond with you. And that's why you need to make investigations before any kind of report. But because you are looking for traffic, you are looking for a favor from government. You are looking for this. You you want it to favor you. You you are playing safe, you are playing safe. Okay, I don't. I'm not. I'm not really. <laughs> I'm not really comfortable with this. I just have to come out and voice it. Mazin Namdekano said something before now. He said if you give a Nigerian journalist, just pay a Nigerian journalist well, and they will testify the goodness of Satan. Mazin Namdekano said it a long time ago before he was he was abducted. He said, just pay a Nigerian journalist very well. And, and they will testify the goodness of Satan. There is no two ways. And that is it. That is what it is looking like. If not, explain to me how more than a hundred and something souls were sent, sent to the grave yesterday. And then some, some, some media houses are telling me 40 something, 50 something. What do you mean? There is no, there is no uh, 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 accurate report here. But these are people's life. Wait. 
many newspaper, many newspaper brought this in. I don't even know what to say. So Manepa said, now check out the report from Nigeria Islamic State Media. Please make sure you go through them. This is after Simon Ekba has gone through. You see why Mazinam the Kano endorsed this man? Simon Ekba is a very wise man. He makes his research very well. Whatever he's coming out to tell you, he has researched about it very well. So that by the time you will even stand up to argue with him, you will not even have any base to stand with him. He made his findings before he came out to say, check out this thing. I'm coming. I'm prepared for all of you. Wait, just be coming down. They, I will show us the newspapers that gave report, that gave report, and it is not, it is, it is not corresponding at all. But this is something that happened. You can't tell me nothing on this. Yesterday, twenty fifth of December, twenty twenty three, gunmen attacked a plateau state, and on that process. Many people lost their lives, yet there were still casualties, people that sustained injuries. Now, the uh, media started publishing the whole story, and then the next thing you see is they, they started giving different, different things altogether. I don't even know if it is this punch that is even paining me. Wait. I, I came with facts so, so that you it's not like I'm trying to 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 talk down on any media house. I will start with um um uh, People's Gazette. I'll start with People's Gazette. People's Gazette said one hundred and this thing happened yesterday. Just check the dates. Check the dates. This is twenty fifth of December, twenty twenty three. That's when the report came in. And look at it. 112 killed, 47 injured as killer herdsmen level plateau villages on Christmas Eve. 112 was killed, 47 injured as killer herdsmen level plateau villages on Christmas Eve. That is from People's Gazette. Let's calm down. People's Gazette have given their own report. To. They said they saw 112 and 47 persons were injured. Now see this one. This is from Channel's Television. Channel's Television says, Black, Black Christmas in Plateau as assailants kill over 70. Over 70. Why would they use 70 for us now? Like people that doesn't have sense. Over 70. Is it so that the thing will look um, more, more presentable? Is it so that people will not say, okay, well, it's just 70. It's not much. Even if it is one person. I'm done. This is Channel's, Channel's television report. See this one now. This one is from, it's from Arise News. Arise News said... Over 50 persons killed, many injured, on Christmas Eve attack by Fulani militia in Plateau. Over 50 persons killed. What is this? So the 50 you are using now is so that we say, wow, chai, it's only 50. It's only 50. Now, what if um, um, People's Gazette had not published this, this number? Calm down, calm down. Let's look at this one. This one is from Daily Post. Daily Post says, Plateau attack death toll rises to 76. That means they are still counting now. 76. Okay. You push should be counting. Mathematicians. Chico beat them. Look at this one. I don't... <laughs> hey. This one says, At least 8 persons killed. That is at least so it's not your utmost. In plateau state by government. Mili military task force yet to confirm exact number of casualties. Okay. You are yet to confirm. You are telling us it's eight. At least eight. But People's Gazette said they counted 112 that was killed. 
So what's the problem of Nigeria media? What's the problem? What's their problem? What's their problem? Is there anything you would do now that will that will that will make the truth not to be the truth? Is there anything that you would tell the people that will make the truth to become a lie? Eh? Look at some people. Oh God. I don't I don't know what to say. I that is why I don't blame I don't blame Bia France for agitating for their freedom. Yes, because in, in this kind of situation, what do you do? What do you do? What are you expected to do? Nobody is saying anything about it. Nothing. These people, people in Plateau villages, this is not the first time they have been attacked. What is this all about? Are these not human beings? Are these not, are these not people that came from a home? What is this brutality for? What is this brutality all about? I thought they are fighting insecurity. Where are the military men that are taking care of this? Where are they that are securing this place? Where are they? These people's lives are in danger every day by day. They are in danger. Quickly, I'm going to be reading out some, um, some comments from people so that you pull up, we'll see that it is not, it, it is not, it doesn't just end here. It doesn't just end here. Let's see, um, report, um, people's reaction to this. Okay. Someone, Emeka Opera said, Simon, Eba, God bless you for bringing you up at this time. Okay. And then, Mma Ejiri Buago said, Media as an expert in misinformation, sending the wrong narrative to the public. That is what we are even complaining of. Sending wrong narrative. Edu Biafra says, I am still waiting for your comment. That is Nigerian post. Don't pretend you didn't see this post. Okay. They are waiting for Nigerians post. Let them, let them, let them comment on this. Then someone says, sometimes I wonder how I got into this country. Killings has become a norm. No empathy. Very unserious outcry. No serious effort to stop all these killings from the government men. Thus should divide this country since the government can't work. If you, see, if you feel you are no longer capable of protecting the people, of securing the people's lives and properties. If you feel you are no longer comfortable or capable of doing that, just allow these people to go. Let them separate. Let there be separation so that everyone will, will know what he or she is taking care of. Because by the time everyone knows that ah, you are entitled to this place, that person will, will make sure will make sure that he protects his own people. But the time you have seen it like it's a burden, oh, how, what, what more can you even do, Seth? Then someone says, um uh after checking out these headlines then you have every reason to come out in full force and support our prime minister Biafra republic government in Ezai, simon Eba. that is it by the time you see this news headline you will know why simon Eba is shouting um and then another person says um this is heartbreaking Nobody deserves to die this way. That is it. That is it. When you pay Nigerian journalists, they will testify the goodness of Satan. <laughs> oh. Okay. Someone says, different figures, same incident. What a confused state. This is, so, something happened. Everybody knew it happened. It no one is oblivious of this of this fact. It happened, but then give the report to Z is now Wahala, the same incident, different report. Okay, then someone said, um, you can never see Ofem Mano's people commenting on this kind of news. But if it was Simon Eba or Mazinam the Kano that was mentioned, Piam, they will come out. <laughs> Then another person say Yoruba media, Tofiakwa. <laughs> hey, 
Nigeria, my country. <laughs> okay, this is just it. I said, let me come and shout out so that you people will know that I, I even saw it and it's paining me. What's your own opinion about all of this? What do you have to say? Drop your comment. Remember, this is the Imoko BTV. We bring you up there 247 about the latest happening in and around the country. Please subscribe to this channel. Like our videos, share our videos. Join us on both Telegram and Facebook at Imoko BTV. You will enjoy it. You will come back to thank me later. Until next time, be a good citizen. Present very well wherever you find yourself.